Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I wanted to get on here and do a quick praise report concerning what happened with me and my family, uh, concerning the hurricane known as Ida. Uh, I had sent out a prayer request, uh, I think a day or two before, or the day before the hurricane, out on my email list, and uh, I really appreciate those prayers. They were answered. Uh, we weathered the storm safe and sound. Um, the night before, my wife and I, we uh, went um, to our home, um, where our pump is, and a few of the other things we have around the house, our beehives and the wellhead, the barn behind us. We anointed them with oil and we prayed over them for protection. And um, we uh, prayed over them and believing, had faith that the Lord would you know, get us the storm and not, you know, destroy our home. And um, we, uh, we was up in his hands. There was nothing we could do about it. And we anointed it with oil. We prayed over it. And uh, we weathered through the storm. And the worst of it was about four hours long. Um, not exactly sure on how the powerful the winds were. Uh, as for miles per hour, but I would say, if I had to guess, at least 75, 85 miles an hour winds, maybe more, uh, the gust. Uh, a little hard to say at this point, but uh, we had about seven trees around just our home fall, and uh, they all fell away from the home. Uh, none of them fell on our home, and they were all large enough that they would have caused tremendous amount of damage and uh, if they had hit our home. They were, none of them were small trees. And uh, they were all pointed away from our home except one that was just outside the limit of our of hitting our home. It, uh, it touched our propane tank, uh, literally touched it. And, uh, but it was still a good five feet away from our home. The very tip of the tree touched it. Um, the tree behind me here, um, we prayed over this barn back here, and this tree here touched the barn uh, and uh, did not do any damage to the barn whatsoever. And uh, that was a miracle because, yet again, this is not a small tree. Um, and everything else we had anointed with oil was safe and sound. Um, we got a few little animals and things like that. And nothing was harmed, which was a miracle. Um, we, um, when we woke up the next morning, um, there was trees everywhere, not just around our house, but around other buildings. There was 14 on the road to the highway that we had to cut out. And um, there was a lot, lot of cleanup, and there will be a lot of cleanup for uh, a couple months now. We'll have plenty of firewood for the winter, but that's, that's no big deal. Uh, maybe the winter is going to be cold. Maybe the Lord's telling us something. But we had answered prayers, and um, the destruction that was here was minimal than what it could have been. Uh, there's a lot of people right now in Louisiana and the surrounding area that have it a whole lot worse. And I'd ask you to keep those people in your prayers. Uh, we were without power for uh, almost, uh, see, almost 10 days, which was a blessing because they originally said that it was going to be uh, three to four weeks, maybe even more. And that was answered prayers as well. Um, now, we don't need power, we can live without power, but it does make things much more easier. And, uh, you know, you don't have to fool with generators and things like that. And uh, when it's about 95 degrees, it just uh, makes it much easier to have electricity. But uh, thankfully, you know, nine, nine and a half days was what we had to deal with, and that was, that was a blessing. There's still a lot of people uh, here locally and in surrounding areas that don't have power, and they're not looking to have power for many, many more weeks. So I'd ask you to please pray for them and pray for the people that lost their homes and weren't as fortunate and blessed as we were and other people that I know here uh, that were blessed and they weren't as fortunate as them. Um, be, please be in prayer for those people. And thank you for praying for us. And uh, they were answered prayers, indeed. And uh, I do this testimony, um, this video, to, rem to remind you of the power of prayer. And maybe you can uh, take something away from what we did here and what the, the Lord did. But just having just a little faith. And my faith wasn't perfect. It isn't, it isn't perfect. But um, during the night, the four hours I was telling you about, we, uh, we were sitting inside and um, literally listening to trees fall for about 
five to ten minutes every one every five to ten minutes and when we woke up there was probably about for four hours that's about 24 plus trees and there was probably that many down within you know uh, 500 yards of our home not to mention the ones way out there uh, that I haven't even seen yet and the ones on the road and, and other places um, but uh, it um, it was a big deal to us and uh, it was answered prayers and we're very thankful for them and the uh, Lord taught us a lot of things through it, uh, taught us patience, taught us faith and along with a lot of other things and a lot of lessons to be learned from this. And But one of them that I want to get across to you and whoever's listening or watching this video that the power of prayer works and uh, it, uh, it, it were answered prayers. And uh, please pray for the other people that weren't as fortunate uh, during these times. So thank you for watching and thank you for being patient with me during this time of not being able to get any sermons or videos up. And over the past three weeks, um, it just wasn't possible. Thank you for uh, being patient with that. And uh, Lord willing, I will have more videos once a week uh, at least and the, with the weeks to come. And uh, thank you for watching.